Greetings everyone, Kyojin here. Welcome back to some Splatoon 1, Dawn of the Final Day, or semi-final day, uh-oh. Ad started playing, whoopsie. Alright, I'm good. <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard that on my end, but... <laughs> Welcome on in. We are playing some Turf. One of my favorite maps in the entire series, Black Bellies in Rotation. So I'm very happy about that. Um, yeah. Let me just pop up chat here. I can actually see fellas then. Do, 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 do. All my fellas. Chat's popped out. I'm gonna pin my ID. Thank you. Stuck with your name. Alright, there we go. So. There's that. I'm going to just start out with the shot. Um, Alright. Actually, before we begin with some turf war, while I'm waiting for people to join the stream, I'm going to do something special. So for you early folk, you're about to see this really cool thing that I'm going to do here. What's up, Hasume? You get to see something special. Let's do it. So let me know how audio is, Flo Alice. Here we are. Audio is good, let's go. For those who played during Splatoon 1, what what fest were you? What team were you for the final fest? Were you Cali or Murray? I am happy to say that I was Team Cali. Um So yeah. God, I miss this a lot. The nostalgia. But yeah, I, I don't remember all the other in-between Splatfests fully. Um, I know for sure, though, I played during the first fest and final fest. And the first fest, I was Team Dog. And the final fest, I was Team Cali. So... Why is there a fest? Oh yeah, the Amiibos. Yeah, the Amiibos are so cool. But yeah, I just wanted to show that before we hop into the turf. Alright. Amiibo! Okay, I'll hop into a turf. I'll wait. Uh, if we get any friend requests, I'll back out and accept them. Um, yeah. Let's hop on into some turf. Some silly, silly turf war. Also, hi, Spiky. I'm B minus 58 because, yeah. Hold on, I can play music here. The last hours of the one on the Wii U before the servers died. The servers are dying exactly tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern. Sadly, I have classes from noon to 7, so I can try to rush back to the dorm. To play for the final hour but yeah it's gonna be hard i think I, my first as i witnessed was snowman versus sandcastle i couldn't participate in it though because my internet didn't let me oh that's sad i'm sorry to hear that i just know i was part of the cat and dog i don't know how much i played of it it's ages ago but i i remember you know Definitely played it in it. Oh, 
Also, I love how my trips changed through the years, where this used to be my drip. White anchor tee and paintball mask and these, like, squid stitch-ons. To then becoming Zeko hoodie and sneaky beanie. Wait, what are you doing in our base? Oh, hey, Canoli. How's it going, Canoli? <laughs> I didn't realize I was Canoli. I just saw a person with the ink strike. I'm like, I'm gonna kill. Nope, tame the Kraken. Back, you beast. <laughs> Got him. Ah, uh, Seeker. Seeker. Smiley face. I can only again. I'm being a menace with this splatter shot right now. Alright, there we go. Now I'm taking down. <laughs> Took forever. That's being a little silly guy. Oh, there's a silly guy. No, they're, they're not in our base. Okay. Seeker. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that your uh, Wii U gave up on you. That's rough. Ow. I should have predicted someone would see me. Our base is painted. Do that. Strike. I'm going to get rid of that. Seeker. I think that's Cannoli, the 52. Ow, okay, I was getting shot from two different directions. Oh no, they might win this. 15 seconds left and they have a lot of paint. Yeah, I think they won this one. This has got a good amount of kills. I'll consider that a W in a personal book. I felt like I was popping off, actually. Oh, again, the ASO app on your computer. Interesting. See, this is other thing called Jalfonso Bot, which is really good. Um, that tells you map rotations. Yeah, six and four is surprisingly really good for me. And afternoon, Drago. Hopefully, you're doing well. And yeah, not bad for like my first game of the S1 here. Oh no, where's the uh? Yeah, that, that one. I love that one. Just slamming on the piano at the beginning. Such a mood. Hey, what up, the cannoli? GG's. Nice game. I like saw you. I was like, hey, that's cannoli. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, yeah. I realized that once I uh, hit you with the burst bombs. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I didn't even think could only realize I was streaming. It was just like, uh, we just, just suddenly ran into them. <laughs> Silly small world. It's the small world of Splatoon 1. Nathaniel is another streamer. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, well, pleasure to meet uh, Nathaniel's acquaintance. I didn't know that. Oh, hello, Conch Pixels. Yeah, pleasure to meet your acquaintance. I didn't realize you're streaming as well. Let me go drop over to your stream and drop a like then. And let me go click go to channel. And I'm going to go boop. <laughs> and there you are. Oh. <laughs> I got a 637. You got got a ways you get in there just keep on grinding and you'll get it higher and higher what's up little buggy welcome to stream hopefully you're doing well 
How I didn't know any of you were shrooms. Dropped in and there you were. Yep. How's it going, Adam? So hopefully you're doing well. You're from Conch Pixels. So hello, Lisa. Pleasure to make your acquaintance as well. Oh, is the lobby crashing? This is a Splatoon 1 moment. I think we're having a Splatoon 1 moment, but the lobby might be crashing. We'll see. So I don't really like that. I know you're trying to be silly, Buggy, but I, I don't like that. Um, could be seen the wrong way. Hello, Kyla. Hopefully you're doing well. And thank you for being a member for 14 months. I greatly appreciate that. Alright, let's do it to it. IDC, no, Splatoon 1, sad. DCs are sadly common. Especially now that the servers are going to go completely. We're going to miss this game so much, me too. Uh, nope, you don't. Hehe. <laughs> Alright, they might come around the other way, which I can't do anything about yet. So I'm gonna go this way. And only being silly outside their base, I'm gonna paint around this way. Grind to level 31, nice. So let me know if the audio is too quiet or something. I might need to boost it a little. Like the in-game volume. I really like the vibes in Splatoon 1 a lot more. A lot of the things feel very, um, more skater punk vibe. Um, you know what I mean? Like the graffiti artist, like, urbanized vibes. Like, even, like, the original five maps, right? On release day, on May uh, 28th of 2015, there were only five maps in the game. Um, and those five maps were Black Belly, Urchin, Salt Spray Rig, Arowana Mall, and Walleye Warehouse were the original five maps of Splatoon. And all five of those maps have a very urbanized feel to them. They're very city-like. They're very, you know, urban area. Oh, you think I'm I'm a bit quiet. Okay. Um Okay. I turned myself up a bit. I have a knob on my um microphone. I turned it up slightly. That should help. <sighs> I love nostalgia. This is very nostalgic. Wii U era. I feel like we're bullying them. I'm gonna back up. Emadi is fine. Okay, then it's just my end. My end if feels a little quiet. Ooh, if assists were in this game, that would have definitely been an assist. Making sure they don't. Okay, we're good. We won. Whee! <laughs> Hello, Crispy. And uh, GG. Yeah, that's why I was trying to turn up the... If I could turn up the game music. Like, individually. Not just the in-game volume. That would have been nice. Hey, there's cannoli. Hey, look at that. The conch pixels is back. Let's go. Nice to see you.
And Spikey's in as well. Ooh, wait, I want to play a certain song. Hold on. Where's that Octoling song I love? There it is. Please turn up your mic volume. It's kind of low for me, or at least speak so that... I've been speaking what? Fellas, is anyone else having problems hearing me? I literally just turned up my mic. Yeah, I sound fine for everyone else. Ultra. I don't want to turn up too, too much. Yeah. I don't want to be extremely much, like, way louder than in-game volume. Like, what? What is homie cooking? Also, my favorite map, or one of my favorite maps. I prefer in Splatoon 2, I'll be real, but... It's still one of my favorite of all time, so... It's a good night and good day. Alright, oh, hello, fella. Hey, it was Cannoli. Oh, ouch. Oof. Urgh. Man, I'm dead. Ooh, we gotta love that killer whale. <laughs> yeah, I really do love the rework in Splatoon 2. Made it, like, my favorite map in the series besides S1 Flounder. S1 Flounder and uh, the reworked Black Belly is, like, some of my favorites of all. Oh, Seeker. Seeker. Don't stand still, Cannoli. I know you're just launching your H trick, but. Where are people? There's people. Ah. Ah, I couldn't move. <laughs> What are your top three favorite maps? Uh, well, definitely Flounder, or Flounder, Splatoon 1, and Black Belly. Other than those, I haven't really considered a top three, I'll be real. Robo Ramen's fantastic in Splatoon 3. Uh, same with Crab Leg, I really like. Um, in Splatoon 3, I like those maps specifically. I'm trying to figure out where they are. Ooh. Let's go. Got him. We're losing though. Just gotta try to make a comeback. Oh. Dang it. They saw me. I'm trying to outflank. We got outside our base here. Somebody is. Oh, bucket. There we go. Ah, uh, I was trying to bomb rush blush. Gosh darn it. So close. Man, I don't want to lose on my favorite stage. Or one of my favorite stages. Nah, it's fine. You went some, you lose some. Just brush it off and keep trying. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he just got me. Okay. Nice one there. GG's. Dang, yeah, zoned out. Rough. GG's. Wanna see your set? Hello, uh, Nat. Nice to see you as well. Hopefully everyone's going doing well on both sides. This is like an unofficial collab of sorts. <laughs> yeah, y'all smoked me. GG. Oh, we had a DC too. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, kind of got smoked in my own my own backyard, essentially. But that's okay. Still my favorite, one of my favorite maps. Yeah, I'm having fun. It doesn't matter. Look, a lot of people, especially in Splatoon 3, take winning and losing very seriously. I'll be real, I've always played Splatoon for the social aspect. So even losing like this, I got to meet somebody new. I got to meet conch shells. Got to meet new fellas. I'm I'm happy because I'm, I'm just hanging out. That's what my purpose is. To hang out with people. 
I mean, technically, it's not the last day, Koi. We got, like, um, a couple hours, over 24 hours. It's closing at 8 p.m. Central, uh, not 8 p uh, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, um, 4, 8. It's couch, oh, not conch. Oops, my bad. My, my apologies, couch pixels. I don't know why I wrote it as conch like conch shells. <laughs> I'm really bad at reading without my glasses, which I don't know where I set them down. <laughs> the text is a little blurry, my bad. I'm like reading it like 4D pixels um, without my glasses instead of like the normal 720p. So without, without my glasses, I can't really see it. Well, oh hell, the magic conch shell. No, it's couch pixels. I now see. It's my apologies for calling you the wrong name, couch. Sorry about that, CP. Alright, I can go this way, maybe? No, I can't. That's right. I'm silly. This is Splatoon 1 where I can't do that. No, it's closing April 8th. April 8th tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern. Why are they... Buddy. Oh, they're already seeing. Okay. April 8th at 8 p.m. Eastern. I am a social and competitive aspect. I do enjoy the game. But I don't like losing too much. Yeah, I understand. Like, trust me. I still, like, get a little, like, oh man. Like, I want him to win. But, like, I'm, it's not life or death for me, right? Like, a lot of things, um, a lot of people take it very seriously. And I'm like, I'm not here for that. Like, I want to, tr sure, I want to get good at the game. That's why I, like, stream X rank on my Twitch. But, like, I want to get decent. I want to be an asset, a great, great asset. But I'm not going to stress about it. As soon as I t stress about, like, winning and stuff, I lose a lot of um motivation <laughs> yo what's up epi nice to see you fella hopefully you're doing well oh one minute left to go ow oof right in my kneecaps hi cannoli all right let's go this way yeah, if I stress too much about, like, winning or, heck, even, like, for YouTube side of things and streaming, if I worry too much about, like, view count or sub count, it's not fun. And the same thing with, um, being overly competitive for me is, like, sometimes it takes the fun out of it or it's, like, you know, you stress too much then. Not no fun. They try to kill our whalers. Oh, ow. I didn't expect you there. Uh, they're probably gonna push on our side there, so I'm gonna go that way. Yeah, I predicted they would do that. Seeker. Ooh, it's close. I think we got it, though. Let's go. Hello, Agent. Uh, Agent Maki, I will back out and accept the friend request. I guess I shall do so. Yeah, please let me know if you send friend requests so I can go out and accept them. Then I could try to drop back in. That was a friendly taunt, lol. Thank you, Alice. All right, let me go out. Oh, can I accept the friend request? Well, I don't gotta, but I wanna. And do that. Ooh, two of them. Sweet. There you go. Friends with you. Friends with you. And there we are. Friendship. Yay. Try to drop back into cannoli. Oh yeah, Epi, Epi did a silly drinking uh, thing. 
I kind of want to do something like that, but at the same time, I usually save my trunk streams for birthdays. That's about it. Why not? It's fun. Who needs a liver? I don't need a liver. <laughs> or I only need 25% of one. I'm kidding. I drink. If I do something, I do it responsibly. I just want to kind of follow in Epi's footsteps. I'm a great influence. Exactly. See, I want to follow in Epi's footsteps. Ah, man, I'm dead. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Just gonna paint that a little bit there. Man, that's a lot of paint already. I can see why they widened this. Alright. Nice teamwork there, Joseph. Teamwork makes a dream work. Dang it. I'm also a great influence. Unfortunately, I am also a lightweight. <laughs> I mean, I kind of am. It depends. It really depends. Either way, funny, silly content. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want see. The thing is, I don't want to do that stuff too, too often because then it's just like, I don't want to give the wrong impression that Oh, I always consume alcohol. No, I just do it for fun every, like, on special occasions. Like St. Patrick's and my birthday. <laughs> Drowning in cola. Soda! Do, 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 do. No, that's my job. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let the Irish Splatuber have that one. Although, Polish... Polish is also known for stuff like vodka, so. BRB, I, I. See you soon, Epi. Epi, I swear to God. <laughs> Sorgi, accident. Uh, burst bombs do. No, they were already damaged, um, which is why I killed them with a burst bomb. I think burst bombs do like 80 damage in this game. It's definitely higher than the other games in the series, but it's not a one shot. It's not 100 damage. I mean, I'm pretty sure of that. It's so Koi calmed down right now. Yeah, because Koi was being down bad, so we named the group chat Koi Calm Down. <laughs> Ooh, five and four. All right. Not too shabby. Good job, fellas. Do, 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 do. All my fellas. Alright, what's another catchy song here? We got that Octatarian music. It's my jam. Oh, looks like Couch Pixels is heading out. Or maybe it was a DC, either way. Fun playing with you. Pleasure making your acquaintance. Hopefully, I'll catch you on the flip side. Unless I was just a DC. I couldn't tell if I was a DC or not. Oh, it looks... Oh, I went over to their stream. It looks like they're frozen. Oh, they're having internet issues. 
Oh no. And thank you, Alice. Appreciate it. I think I am competent when it comes to Splatoon as a whole. I'm not the greatest player in the world, but I'm like competent enough to just play the video game. I mean, I've been playing it since 2015. I better be at least half decent with it, you know? I grew up with this stuff. Seeker. Ow. I don't know how well Seekers work in Black Billy, because there's so many ramps of things. First ball versus Seeker Rush. I found out yesterday with nobody that Burst Bomb Rush wins. Ooh. Ooh, barely hang in there. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, almost got three. I could have got a triple. Burst Bombs win because speed and volume. And also their aerial momentum and um, area of movement, AOE, area of effect. What if I burst bomb your tower? Ah, uh, silly burst bomb go burr. Well, I'll take the trade. Thank you, Dog Dog. Hopefully, you're doing well. This one is slowly becoming like my fourth best in this game, I swear. 52. Crack on. This guy. Um, kelp slider scope. What if you wanted to be on tower, but God said burst bomb? fun over there. Uh, looks like we got the lead. Don't know for how long though. Ooh. Ah, Seeker. I think we still won that because we have a lot in their base. Yeah, let's go. GG. Be on the 20th of April to the 22nd. Well, for me, it's the 19th through the 21st. Because I am um, Eastern Time Zone. Hello, hello, uh. Oyasumi? Is that how you pronounce? i sorry if I mispronounce, but hopefully you're doing well. Have I encountered any hackers? Not yet, Mario Wolf, and hopefully it stays that way. We did come across another streamer. Um, couch pixels. So that's fun. I encountered one that changed the map, really. No hackers, unless. What do you mean, unless? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, hackers can do a lot. Um, there's a ha hack that can, well, in private battles anyway. I don't think they can change the map in the actual rotation, but in private battles they can. Wait, they can actually? 
I never came across that, I'll be real. Hello, Alexander. Hopefully you're doing well. You know what's funny? Uh, people have started becoming used to short streams, but I remember my short ever my first ever short stream. Someone came in and was like, "Why is the uh, aspect ratio so weird?" It's like, are you not watching this on shorts? Like, what? <laughs> Okay, I can't reach them over there. Never played Splat A1, only started with Splat 2. Oops, I grew up um, on both. I actually started with the global test fire of Splatoon 1. Um, played a lot of Splatoon 1 on and off. Actually, I could probably pull up my player log then for funsies. Ow. Hello, Lisa. Hopefully you're doing well. Pixels died because of you. I don't think he died because of me. I think they had an internet issue. I don't think it was my fault. Don't put the blame on Jack. Jack didn't do Jack. I did, I don't do Jack. I don't know oh, Jack. I can't I can't do Jack. It ain't my fault. That a hacker who changed a regular battle to a Rainmaker match on Splatfest stage. Interesting. That is very, very interesting. That's cool that you started with uh, Splat 2. Splat 2 is still a solid game. I know a lot of people were like, grr, Splat 2. But I think they took what they had for granted. Splat 2 was also a fun game. I love the entire franchise. I'll be real. Like, there's not much I don't like about this game. Hello, Mackenzie! I'm dying. Hold on. Oh, man. We're losing, too. Um, but, yeah. Spot 2, I know a lot of people started with. I am one of the few people who owned a Wii U <laughs> and actively played it in, like, 2014, 2015, 2016 range. I think I got my Wii U actually in, in like, 2013? I want to say it might, I think it was either 2013 or 2014 because I remember getting Smash uh, Smash Bros. Probably only a few months after I got my uh, Wii U, so I think it was 2014. Uh, I thought I could. I heard that. Dang it. I should get on my 3DS and play Mario Kart 7. Yeah, Mario Kart 7's good. And dang, there's only 31 hours left of Splatoon 1 and Mario Kart 7, and all those, all those servers are going kablooey. Oh, I, I partook in the first ever Splatfest, Cats vs. Dogs. Yeah, that's what it looked like when I logged on. I checked their stream not too long ago. And it looked like the stream froze. Yeah, it looks like it's just gone. Sad. Cause I just realized their thumbnail is like little buddy with like a Karen haircut and like red glowing eyes. That's that's interesting. <laughs> All right. All right, all the Mario Maker levels have been cleared, including the T TAS. Yeah, I saw that. I saw a news article about that. I'm so happy that somebody that was like done. Somebody got to all the Mario Maker levels before they the server shut down. Mario Maker was goaded when it was fully active. Like, I will always be advocate more for Mario Maker 1 than Mario Maker 2. Um, that game was so good. Uh, I miss the Wii U era a lot of times. I think what made the Wii U era very interesting was the fact that Nintendo knew they weren't making money. So they were just being silly. They were just being silly. They were coming out with stuff like Mario Maker and Splatoon and Yoshi's Woolly World and... Just silly, silly little games that necess that like were just fun. Let's 
absolutely always brings awesome stuff for real. Like, look at the entire Splatoon franchise. Now one of Nintendo's hardest hitting franchises. Like, it's insane. Both Animal Crossing and Splatoon have done phenomenally lately. No, this is not my first short stream. This is like my third. My third or fourth. Uh, I miss the OG. I'm going to miss the OG now or never. Oh, they're back. Okay, sweet. Tell them I said hello. You want order burst bombs? I love how I can't aim. Okay, now I can. Will come up. Nope. <laughs> what if you wanted to climb the wall, but Jack said no? Ow. I deserve that. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Pikmin series is also goaded. I don't think Splatoon 3 sucks. I think, um,. As a lot of different vibes, there's a lot of really good quality of life things in Splat 3. I will say that I love the batch system. It has so much incentive to play, which is why I'm like three starring every weapon in Splatoon 3. It's so fun to get those badges and things. Uh, I think one of the things that they took was like they there's not really a casual community anymore. I mean, there is, but a lot of people are a lot more comp based when it comes to Splatoon 3. And for me, Splatoon's all been about being silly, being fun. But yeah, a lot of people, especially in Splat 3, is very competitive vibe, which isn't necessarily bad. For the comp people, that's fantastic. But especially for people like me, I just play this game for the social aspect. It loses some charm. Oh, let's get that they're back. Tell them I said hello, and, well, I mean, they're here, so hi! Welcome back, hopefully internet is all good. But yeah, I'm just like, I wish I could make good quality videos, because I can't. Every time I try to edit, like, I do not live up to my own expectations of editing. Um, but I would love to make a discussion post about the Splatoon franchise as a whole, and why, like, why I prefer like Splatoon 1 and 2 over 3. Because it mostly boils down to that. It mostly boils down to the fact that I feel like sometimes people take this game way too seriously. And like, I think Splatoon at its roots is better when it's silly. Silly Squid Game. But that's just me. I don't mind the comp, and it, for people who love comp, good for you. But I like. I wish there was, like, if they're going to make it, I wish the whole thing wasn't comp-based. I wish it was an even divide of casual and comp, where you would have modes that you could play casually with friends, but also, you know, if you really want to try hard with, like, power or something, you could. Which is why I was kind of upset they never brought back League. I know people were like, oh, Anarchy Open is League. But there's a lot of people, including myself, who want to play the ranked modes, but with friends. Um, but don't want to encounter, like, a full-on comp team. You know what I mean? Like, I would love if there was, like, Anarchy Open and League. That way, the people who want to play more competitively would hop on League, and then people who want to be silly can hop on Anarchy Open. But that's just my take. Obviously, my opinion ain't fact, but that's just, I'm just expressing my perspective. Were we supposed to get League? Yeah, they said that we would. And then they backtracked and it was like, oh, never mind. Anarchy Open is now your League. Here's your, um, here's your power that you get for playing Anarchy, Anarchy Open. Which is why they added the power to Anarchy. Which, again, I don't really. <laughs> I didn't think that was the smartest decision in my personal opinion. I think it would have been better to have the split of League and Anarchy Open.
I mean... I mean, I love the DLC personally. Oh, there is something for 1000%ing and you get the Octo Shot. If you 1000% the um, side order, you get Octo Shot. And all those, like, uh, badges. You get a bunch of color chip badges. But, uh, hey, what's up, Hoenn? Challenges are a nice thing. I do like challenges, but it should not be a replacement for leak. Um, it, it is a nice... It's a weird mix of casual and comp, um, the challenge modes, because, like... It, sure, you calculate power, but it's also, like, more of a casual thing. I agree it... Adonai, um, after you beat it, there's not really a incentive to continue playing side order unless you want to personally challenge yourself, which isn't bad. Uh, or if you pull an epi and make a drinking game out of it or like make silly challenges out of side order. But yeah. Uh, there's definitely Splatoon 3 sort of missed some marks for some potential. Like, it has a couple, I don't want to say lost potential, but there's things that could be tapped into that they haven't really tapped into yet. Um, I do love sub a lot of the new subclasses they added. Um, like, especially Painbrush. Like, I really like Painbrush. And, um, Edit's kind of a pain to fight against, but it is a fun weapon. Um, I do like that they're trying, though, with the different subclasses, or different sub-weapons. I do like that. Um, S-Blast, I know a lot of people like S-Blast. Um, stuff like that. That's cool. But they didn't really seem to make really good new maps until lately. Robo Ramen's been fantastic. Sh uh, Ship Shade's pretty solid. Uh, Probably like Capital's good. They reworked Bluefin, where Bluefin's actually, I feel like, better. Especially Zones. Bluefin Zones is better than the original Bluefin Zone. But yeah, there's just a lot. Hey, how's it going? I see you. Nice to see you. Um, Bone Rattles. Oh yeah, Salmon Run they perfected. Splatoon 3. Salmon Run they perfected. I... They added so much to that game. The Kings, the new maps are like the best salmon maps. Like, I love, like, especially uh, Salmon Jam and Junction is like the best salmon run map, in my opinion. Oh, you're over there. Hello. Um, how did we even get here? You two shorts has recommended me a lot of things. Well, welcome, Kenny. Hopefully, you're doing well. So, we're going off on a rant about the Splatoon series and what Splatoon 3 is doing right and wrong. Here's my little take. I actually wrote like a Twitter thread about this. I think that for Splatoon 4, it should go back to its roots of Splatoon 1. Very, um, Splatoon 1 here has a lot of very skater, graffiti artist vibes that I wish that the series would go back to. Because I think it's a lot of, I think it's really cool. Um, so. I'll pop over to Epi Oh, Epi's live streaming. Sweet. Tops, I said hello. I'm very glad about for Splatoon 3 region locking Splatfest. Why did it take them a year? I don't know. I don't mind the region lock Splatfest. I don't mind the world ones either. Because I'll be real. I don't really care about the results of Fest. I mean, I'm I play it just to hang out with people. I stopped caring about the results for Fest after the uh, Money Fame Love Fest. That really like opened my eyes. It was like, you know what? Nah, I'm just like, I'm just gonna play this for fun. I'm not gonna stress about the results. I'm not gonna worry about who wins. And honestly, it's made my life better. <laughs> it's it's a lot it's a lot better when you're like not um, when you're not worried about the results. I might back out and swap my weapon and then drop back in. I am getting a little burnout on the shot here. But I kind of want burst bomb still, so I might swap to refurbished. 
Refurbished mini splat lane is fun. Or I'll just pick my main. I'll pick crack on. Crack on is fun. Story mode focus on the salmonoids because of bone rattle. Yeah, true. There's a whole theory. I have a small theory, right? Just a game theory. Um. So I'm gonna back out and accept any friend outstanding friend requests at this time as well. Um. But I have a theory that one of the directions Splatoon could go for story mode. Most of the salmons live in these finite areas, right? What if for Splatoon 4, the whole lore of Splatoon, there's a sunken scroll that talks about the reason why humanity died was the ocean's levels are rising, right? Um, and salmons mostly live on islands. They're like, because they can live in the water, right? They mostly live on these like isolated island areas. What if for Splatoon 4, some of the ocean levels are receding, you know, like the ocean levels are giving out. And what if that opens the door for more salmons to invade or just in general, the inklings and the octolings, they go on the offensive and try to take land away from the uh, salmon. I think that'd be a very interesting thing. I don't, I think it's an idea that could be worked with. Just instead of, uh, like, just... Yeah, the Inklings and Octolings just invade the Salmons instead. I think it would be very... Again, there's so much potential with the Splatoon series. There's different ways they can go about things. I'm excited to see what they could do. Splatoon. Hello, 10k. Hopefully you're doing well. Do -do 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 -do. Hello from the couch pixels. Hello. Hopefully couch is doing well. Another stream had some hiccups, but I mean, what's a stream without it being a little scuffed? You know, like us streamers, we go, th we have a little hiccups every now and then. Internet problems, communication error, especially for us Nintendo streamers. Oh, the fuzzy octolings that would be interesting. I'm sure people are gonna mod that. I'm sure like there's gonna be people who want to mod it into the game. Ooh, they know I'm here. All my fellas. <laughs> Ooh, you know what I want? Well, locker saves would be nice, but also on top of the lockers, apartments, please. <laughs> I know I'm one of the few people who are advocate for apartments, but l hear me out. Um, like I have so many locker items I can't even put in my locker. There's so many items that are just way too big. I'd want it in like an apartment with like shelves and things. I know all people are like, oh, you shouldn't do apartments um, because well, I don't want to spawn in my apartment. Well, then simple. Just have it as a, it's literally make it a Boolean variable. I'm a, I am a programmer. I know how code works. It's a true or false statement. You can have the chooser choose if they want to spawn in like the like main lobby area or in their apartment. That way, if they want to, they could spawn in their apartment, or they could spawn in the regular lobby. It's that sim- It's really that simple. It would not be complicated to code at all. I am a programmer. I know how code work. It would not be hard at all to have the uh, player choose where they want to spawn. It is not that complicated. Like, it would not be hard to program. I'm just saying. You choose the position on where the player wants to spawn.
Hello, Smithsan... Sims... How do you say that name? Hold on. It's S-I-M-T-H-A... I don't know how to pronounce I sorry. But welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. I want to spawn in my bed. I'll I'll leave my inkling there all day. Just like real life mood. No, I really think okay. Sims Simson S I M so Sim Sa Nda Isle Simson Dial Simson Dial I don't I'm bad at name. It's funny because no one can pronounce my name either. <laughs> it's the lovely irony of no one can say Chikojin and no one can and I can't say other people's names. Oh the irony. Yeah, I was dead. Still in the corner. Oh man, I'm dead now. Ow, you got the two shot on me. I honestly just choose Team Bunny thanks to that one scene from the Holy Grail. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Yeah, the killer buddy. Love that scene. Man, I can't even get out of my base. Alright, there we go. Why are you running? Why are you running? Ah, I want to roll over you so bad. Okay. Oh, you have two chicks? That's cool. Oh, it's just a harmless little bunny, isn't it? Okay, let's go this way. What do you mean AO pause? What happened? I didn't think I said nothing sus. Did I say something sus? I didn't think I said anything sus. Ah, man, I'm dead. Alright, let's go this way. Yeah, you said you had two chicks, didn't you? That's cool. Little chickens. Did I read that wrong? I picked Team Chick because I have two right now. Yeah, see? No, I want to roll over you so bad. Yeah, exactly. With the, my roller. The steam roll. Nothing sus about that. It's just a roller, and you crush somebody with a roller, like you steamroll them. Ah, I didn't do that well. I did awful, actually. <laughs> Sorry about that, fellas. I could not get my shots with my rolly that time. I'm much better at roller in like black belly on S2. I think it's because of the vertical flicks. And what was between three has third kits? I think it will. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say much because I don't wanna you know spoil, but 
There are some things that hint towards there uh, being third kits in the game. No, the servers are only dying in Splatoon 1. Splatoon 1 servers are dying. Splatoon 2 servers and Splatoon 3 servers are fine. It's just Splatoon 1. The servers are dying. On uh, well, Splatoon... It's all of Wii U and 3DS servers. So, Mario Kart 7, Mario, uh, original Mario Kart 8, Splatoon 1, Mario Maker. All those servers are dying. But the Switch servers are fine. The Switch is living on for a while, so... Hello! Why are you running? <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna go this way. Dang it. Wanna be silly. Womp womp. <laughs> yeah, that's that's Nintendo killing the servers. This just makes a womp womp. Okay. Um, so, tactic, sort of. The servers die tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern. So tactically, right now we have um 24 plus seven. We have a bit of time. It's 31 hours, less than 31 hours, almost 30 hours. <laughs> Well, that is not going to work for you, fella. Ah, dang it. I wonder if they notice. Do they know? I don't think they know. <laughs> Gotta work roll in. Gotta love that. Never going to give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and desert you. GG's. Yeah, Mario Kart 8 on Switch is gonna be fine. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is fine. I'm talking about the OG Mario Kart. Am I the only one who has nightmares on what? What do you mean by Agent 47? Agent 47? You mean there's no Agent 7? Is there? Wait, what's it? who's Agent 7? Because we have Agent 8. It's Callie Marie's 1 and 2. Agent 3, obviously. Agent 4, Splatoon 2. I thought Agent 5 and 6 were then dead basically Pearl and Marina. And then there's no Agent 7. Then we have Agent 8. There's no Agent 7 in Splatoon. And then Agent 3 became Captain. The new Captain, so that's Captain 3. And then we have Neo 3 in Splatoon 3. Hitman, guys. Hitman. <laughs> agent 8 is not really an official agent. No, but it's close enough. If Captain Cuttlefish is okay with it, then it's fine. Ah. 847 from Hitman. Yeah, I know. Okay. You don't have to do a coffin. I don't know what a hitman is, so.
I'm a Nintendo nerd. I don't know things. All right, go up here. Uh oh. No, you're up there. Oh, bye. I up the oh shoot. Man, I'm dead. Neom. I love beacons. Beacons my beloved. Waiting for an opportunity. There's an opportunity. Hello. <laughs> I wanted to be silly. That's a Mario Party 9. I don't have positive things to say about Mario Party 9 and 10. That's just my take. <laughs> if you like it, good for you. Everyone's entitled to their perspective and opinions, but I do not... I don't have fun things to say about 9 or 10. That That is, again, just... If you like it, good for you. Good job. Everyone has their preferences. I'm just like... 7 and 8 are my favorite Mario Parties of all time. Followed up by Superstars. Um... So in my my tier list is number one is seven, number two is eight, and number three is superstars. I'm sorry, nine and ten are at the bottom for me because I really hate the car mechanic. That's just me though. Oh, I felt bad. They were just standing still. Hi, friend. <laughs> it's like, hey, buddy. How's it going? That's fair, Ad and I. Like, that's why I love Seven so much, is because I grew up on it. Yippee! <laughs> Yippee! Love how my teammate DC'd. Yeah, I mean, welcome to the Nintendo servers, everybody. Hey! <laughs> We love Nintendo servers in this household, right, fellas? Hey, let's go. Couchpixels got back in. Which, by the way, Couchpixels, this is almost like an unofficial collab of sorts. Um, Couchpixels is streaming their POV here. If you want to see like a regular stream, not a short stream. Um, so, yeah. They're streaming their POV. I'm just gonna drop a little peace sign in their chat. You guys should do a real club. I'm down. I'm always down to meet fellows and hang out. We can plan for a real club sometime. I'll I'll see if they have like a Twitter or Discord then and follow and like hit them up on there. <laughs> Oh, the misery. Everybody wants to be my enemy. <laughs> I'm going to go over here. I was waiting for someone to loop around. I predicted that, but I couldn't stop him. I couldn't stop him. I just mumble some mumble hum, um what's the mumbling version of singing? Humming? Humming. I couldn't think of the word humming. I may be stupid. 
I'll take the trade. <laughs> Like what's the I could I can't believe I could think of the word uh, like humming. I was like, hmm, what is what does it mean when you're mumbling but singing? Because <laughs> mumbling is like talking to yourself, but. I don't know Splatoon music. I love. It's silly, but I love it. You forgot what an escalator was? Did you just say moving stairs or floor elevator? Um, stair elevator is another word for it, I think. Man, I love stair elevators. Gonna drop that there. I see some pink in our base. I'm gonna see if there's people there. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, free paint. I can only, I can only. Kraken is silly. Oh, ow. My pride. Shambles. My pride is in shambles. All right, jump into you, Holmes. All right, got hurry and paint. And make sure we maintain lead. Oh, that's cracking. That's a cracking. That's cracking. Oh, last minute ink strike might make a win for him. Ooh, I think they might have got that. Eh, that's close. Also, the Splatoon 2 color. Oh, okay. Never mind. Wait, I thought they had a lot more. I tripped on an Escalade once. I am sorry to hear that, uh, Yana. I see why they added a startup to Kraken. Yeah, it's a little broken. <laughs> Just a little bit. It's just slightly, you know. It's not that broken, is it? Yeah, make sure you are saying GG's to uh, Catch Pixels as well. Let's see what music does hit different. <laughs> yes, I know you are Cannoli because you are you. Cannoli was literally the bridge between us. Like it was able to like introduce us. So thanks for being that bridge, Cannoli. Appreciate you. Love me, new fellas. All my Splatoon fellas. Alright, let's roll out. <laughs> Will the servers die on Mario Kart 8 on Switch? No, only the original Mario Kart 8. Not Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. No Switch servers are dying yet. It's only Wii U and 3DS. Why? It's only Wii U and 3DS servers. Mario Kart 8 was initially a Wii U game. I know a lot of people forget that because uh, Deluxe is so much better, but... Ah, uh, I tried. There was an attempt. Mm. Drop that there. I'm actually gonna drop two fellas there. Keep them at oh, oh, whoop. I'm gonna die, yeah. I'm trying to get past him. Maki got me in the corner here.
Gonna drop that there. They have the high. It's over, Hedekin. I have the high ground. Haha. <laughs> do do do. And you like that there. It's time to be Ninja Squid Sneaky Boyo. All right, well, I'm trying to be Ninja Boy Sneaky Boyo. Oh, they're over there now. Hmm. Hi. Bye. <laughs> Raw. Oh, I was just about to pop cracking. Buzz midair. Me yeet. Yeet. Stick of boys. Get him. <laughs> I just love that. I just, I was like sick of it. Then two people follow up and just drop down. <laughs> I didn't see who those were, but like, oh, there's a whole enemy team there. Fellas, get them. <laughs> Bad guy spotted, Saiyan team, go. <laughs> Were we supposed to get side order amiibos? Oh, it was me. <laughs> well, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much, D1. That was silly. Team Rocket blast off at the speed of light. Surrender now. Prepare to fight. All right. After this game, I'll back out and accept the friend request splatted. I will. Oh, don't worry. I'll grab this friend request and swap my weapon then. Or I'll stick with Crack Hunter because right now I'm so hot. Look at that. I forgot about that. It was just like the freshest things had different um, labels. So right now I'm so hot right now with my crack on roller. <laughs> oh, this game's silly. I think I want to play something with the um, killer whale next. This killer whale can be kind of goofy. Which we'll be back after he gets his laundry. Okie dokie. I'm probably going to back out and accept friend requests and drop back in. Enjoy the rest of Splatoon. All right. See you, Drago. Peace, love, and good vibes. It's laundry time. You got to make sure you do your laundry, fellas. I did my laundry. I just didn't put it away. Like, I have just clean laundry sitting in a laundry basket in my bedroom. <laughs> I am what people refer to as a procrastinator. Yeah, come on. There we are. All right, gonna put that there. Small little beacon. Hey, what crack and hug? <laughs> there you go. Got a nice little crack and hug. I'm gonna die now. Yeah, I called that. <laughs> Gotta paint this way. Of the ramps of the skate park. Oh, I <laughs> got revenge. I got crack and hugged now. Gosh darn kids, what are you doing on my skate park? I'm the groundskeeper of Black Belly. <laughs> Do 
Ah. Alright, going this way. Ah, oh, I wanted a steamroll. Uh, that's what I get for getting an arrogant. Or more silly than arrogant, I think. I just wanted to be silly. Get the sillies. Oh, that's cracking. That's cracking. I'm not ready to fight. Ah, let's try to get rid of their sniper. It only saw me, though. That's going to be an L then, probably. GG's. Oh, that would have been a kill. <laughs> uh, well, let's go ahead and back out, except for a request. I'm going to swap my weapon here. GG's. Uh, I was shaking my head. SMH. Oh, or Wasabi. D uh, we got a DC as well. Those aren't fun. Alright, let's go ahead and accept friend requests. Oh man, that's a lot of them. Okay. Welcome in, fellas. Alright, got you, bug. Bridget. And A. A what? That's an old that's an old clan name. That's an oldie. Alright. Let's go. I wanna play something with killer whale. Um Dynamo's probably not great for Black Belly. Unless I'm just on tower, but I want something else. Hmm. Nah, I'm not feeling 52. I prefer Deco anyway. Don't want a bamboo. I can do a sploosh. I can work with this. For how long are you going to stream? Probably not insanely long, Alessandro, but probably maybe another hour and a half. Mm -mm. That's what I was thinking, roughly. Make it like a three hour stream, roughly, is what I was thinking. That way I can still get like uh, go out and get a proper dinner and things and like do a little bit of studying. Also, thank you for whoever sub. Appreciate the little yippee. Yippee. Yeah, you can join a little later then. The killer whales do be kind of quirky. And glad you enjoyed the content. You don't have to sub, fellas, unless you like Splatoon and Nintendo stuff. I also do... I might do some Minecraft series. I'm not sure. It depends. Would people rather see a Minecraft Skyblock series on Twitch or YouTube? Because I usually do like some single player stuff on Twitch. And I'm planning on being doing a Skyblock series with my buddy Blasian. He invited me to do that. I might stream my POV, but I'm not sure. Why? Why are you up there? Okay. 
All right, they might be doing that. I'll just do this then. I might stream it here, depending on what uh, people think. Point blank kill world. Oh. <laughs> like no killer whale, go burr. All right. A lot of ink in our base. Trying to paint as much as I can. Come on. I am pain I am pulling that so wrong. It's fine. Probably should have just focused on painting, honestly. I should have aimed it back towards my base, looking at all the ink in our base. Whoops. GG's. <laughs> Don't know how to aim a killer whale. It's been ages. I painted though. <laughs> Did a lot of painting. Set my phone. Hold on. Ah, there it is. Let's do it. Ah, oh, drop my phone. Okay. It's fine. Wait, what? Okay, I guess we came across a hacker. Uh fun. You know, it's funny they turned a Splatoon um one hack into an actual event in Splatoon 3. Being um the entire Floor is painted. Fellas, it's like the last day. Why did we get a hacker that painted the entire map purple? Yeah, yeah, they, in side order, they turned this hack into an actual event. Where, oh, the floor is painted, completely painted with your enemy egg. Funny enough, the hack didn't work up on the second level over here. You see this here is not painted? Tom Sonic, we ran into a hacker who painted the entire floor. And so we're painting the floor back. We love Splatoon 1 hackers. Yeah, those are the... Yeah, I don't know. Hackers... Here's my take on hackers. If you're doing it with a group of friends for sillies in a private battle, it's fine. But if you're doing it in public lobby, then you're just kind of being a jerk. So that I don't like.
That's my take on hacking. But if you're doing it to be silly with a group of friends in a private battle, it's fine. Other than that, yeah, nah. Ooh. GG. Ooh, I have a couple weapon uh special concepts Ad and I I wrote down. Um, I have this one... Okay, you know how they got rid of Seeker? What if they brought it back, but as a special? Imagine just a giant Seeker, right? Imagine a giant Seeker that, like, you could hop into and acts like a Reef Slider, but instead, instead of just, like, you know, charging in one direction and exploding, it hones onto an opponent and then explodes. Um, I was thinking that as like a reworked new sort of reef slider where it's a giant seeker. You hop inside the seeker, like inside the boat, and you can still fire your main weapon inside the giant seeker. Um, that's my sort of thing. How would the opponent fight back? It would have HP. I think it would have a decent amount of HP, like crab level HP, right? Where they could fight it back, but you'd have to like actually like direct your target at it. And then if you shoot at it early, then it'll explode earlier. So that's how they would combat it is either just having some HP to it. So that it would break. Okay, Tom Sonic, I'll back out after this game and accept your friend request then. By the way, if I figure out a specific individual is hacking, I will, like, ban them. It looked like potentially that Bridget person was the hacker. Um, because they DC'd. Um, so if they are the hacker, I'm going to remove them from the friends list and block them. But if they aren't, then they're fine. We'll see. What if two of them fight each other, then it's just one big explosion. If two seeker, if two giant seekers went into each other, it's just a big explosion of ink, and it kills everybody who was riding inside both the seekers. Ah, I thought I could go around it, but it's just it's just a concept of mine. How much PP would it need? Like probably. I want to say higher, so probably like 250. And no, uh, it's just a silly idea I want to work on because I think it's funny. It's one of those special set. It might not be super practical, but it's funny. I also have another idea. I don't know if it would be a sub or special, but graffiti. Basically like an ink mine that you could place on the wall. But it explodes a lot bigger. It does like... It could potentially kill. It's like old Ink Mine, right? You know how Ink Mine could kill back in spot one here? It was like that, but it's graffiti on a wall. And if you walk up next to the graffiti, you basically explode and die. I felt like that was a little bit overkill for Joshua. Sorry about that, but... You were at a distance and I have a close range weapon, so killer whale moment. Graffiti placed by Shadow Mario. It could be a Shadow Mario reference, but... But yeah, I thought like a graffiti sub weapon would be super cool, where it's just like a, a can of uh, spray paint, and you just spray it on a wall, and then... It has like a cool graphic or something and if you walk past it i think it would be really interesting too is if you could like customize it like do different like brand logos as the graffiti so you could just graffiti like the zeka logo on a wall and you go around the corner and then you just explode because of the zeka logo 
Of course, to make it stand out, the graffiti would, like, match your ink color. So that's how you could tell, like, if you see, like, a Zeko logo that's, like, you know, the enemy ink color. Or whatever weapon brand it is. Yeah, so if you are using, like, a Crack-On weapon or, like, a Forge weapon, that'd be cool. Any new weapon type ideas? I really want Spray Bottle. You know, like, a Hairspray Bottle? Um, you can do it in, like, a Mist form or, like, a regular form. Imagine a Dooley's that sort of act like Nozzle Nose. Or, no, Squeezer. Imagine Dooley's that act like Squeezers, where they have, like, a Mist form or, like, a short range form and then a long range mode. I imagine that, but in Dooley form, and it's, like, two Hairspray Bottles. Ink Knuckles, I do actually have that. Uh, boxing gloves. Ink boxing gloves I have written down on my weapon ideas. Oh, shoot, I forgot to back out. I'm so sorry, Tom Sonic. Okay, sorry about that, Tom Sonic. Um, I promise I'll back out here after this match. I was so enthralled in the combo, I completely forgot to back out. I don't think I can... Yeah, I can't force back out either. My apologies. But, um, trying to think of other weapon concepts. I think knives would work, um, like dual knives, but instead they're like, they're a weird mix between dualies and, um, splatanas. Um, trying to think of other, other things I thought of before. I know I thought of a different, um, special you know water wheels you know how they spin um like a wheel that spins really fast that sprays ink everywhere and then explodes based off like a water wheel that's another special idea but i don't know how that would kill it's definitely more of a paint special so i don't i don't know how that would work fully um i thought of a, some map ideas uh, one of those only one of them is a oasis in the Splatlands called Pupfish Oasis. Um, then I, I have an observatory map idea. I haven't come up with a name for it. So there's an observatory. Um, there we go. Just had to angle it right. Um, there's a library, like a giant library, I think would be cool. And then a train station, where uh, other map ideas I have written down. Because I think about it, there should be a train station uh, map, because trains almost always have graffiti on them. A golf map would be interesting, like a golf course. I could see that. Alright. Ah, I didn't think anyone was over there still. Dude, that'd be interesting, like, the different, like, holes in the golf course you could actually use as a way to transport in, like, swim form. Like, an underground ink rail or something. Would be interesting as well. There's, defi there's definitely a lot of different things you can do with the Splatoon series, which is why I think it has so much potential. I have, okay, you know how a lot of people don't like Moray Towers? Imagine, like, a more condensed Moray Towers, though. Being, like, these, like, a giant library with, like, staircases. So that it's actually, like, the reason why people hate Moray, I think, is because, like, it takes forever to go from point A to point B. But if you condense it more, I think it would be better. That's why I was like, okay, indoor library with stairs and, like, three levels to it. I think it would be sick. Okay. 
What's up, M14? Hopefully you're doing well. Nice to see you. Don't worry, I'm backing out now. I'll accept the friend request. I remember this time. All right, back out, accept friend request, and swap my weapon. Oops, wrong button. I want to accept friend request first and then switch my weapon. I forgot that's the sad music when you lose. Yeah. I also have the idea of a city park uh, map because I think that would uh, mix in well with like the urban vibes of Splatoon, but also have like a little nature element to it. The, having like a city park with like a skyline in the background and everything would be sick. The final stage is going to take place in space. That would be interesting. I don't know if they would do that. But it would be interesting, for sure. Alright, I've had enough killer whale. It's time for Seeker and Ink Strike. Seeker. Um, I guess I will drop into just a regular turf here. Because I don't see cannoli. Um, so I'll do that. Oh, later cannoli. Peace, love, and good vibes. Have a good rest of your day. All right, let me get a drink here. Need like water or something. Ooh, a carnival stage would be fun too. Oh, speaking of carnivals, I was recently playing Lethal Company with my roommates. Um, there is a mod with a custom moon called Bozo Rose. And Bozo Rose is like this carnival ground and with giants walking around and the giants look like clowns. We love Bozo Rose. Bozo Rose! Okay. Get a paint, paint, paint. All my fellas. Oh, I'm surprised the Seeker didn't get you. Seeker. <laughs> I didn't think that they would actually fall for it. This Seeker smiley face. <laughs> The simple revenge, the simple, the simple satisfaction of Seeker. Seeker. <laughs> Seeker. Seeker. <laughs> I'm a little gremlin when it comes to Seekers, I swear. There it is, two dang fun. Seeker. Seeker. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Kai Kai. Kai Kai, I am so sorry. That's like three kills of the Seeker on one person. I feel like I'm bullying somebody. I'm so sorry. I was trying to throw out the Seeker and be funny, and it's actually working. Seeker. 
<laughs> Reverse big run. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier, actually, where we're, um, we hope the lore of Splat 4, um, involves, like, us invading the Salmons instead. We were talking about that earlier in stream, Spikey. <laughs> Seeker. Seeker! Oh, I hit the wall. <laughs> I was just, just trying to throw it out and watch it go across the map. Oh, you're talking about a stage. Okay. That'd be interesting. I mean, the salmon do travel underground. Look at uh, Undertow Spillway. Yes, yeah, you can send a friend in by a uh, couch. Um, my ID is a pin message, or it's in the description too. You're more than welcome to. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any Seeker mods. No. <laughs> I wanted Seeker. Seekers, my favorite. When, all, when everything changed when the Seeker Nation attacked. Only Seeker, master of all sub weapons. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Seeker. The distance on the Seekers are also huge. Yeah, they can just keep on going for a while. No wonder they got, like, Curling Bombs got a huge distance uh, nerf compared to Seekers. Seeker. I'm gonna die here. I know I am. Yeet! No, we're not! <laughs> Bye! Bye! <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, guys. I think Jack likes Seekers. I don't know. <laughs> They're silly and stupid, so of course I love them. Seeker. They're just like me, for real, for real. They're silly and stupid. <laughs> That's what me and my Seekers have in common. Do, 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 do. All right, I'll bounce out after this game to accept it. Couch. Where art thou, enemy? Oh, there. Seeker. Yeah, I can't seek you up there. Come on, sensitivity. Seeker. 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 <laughs> Seeker. 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 Okay. They're not pushing up, sadly. I was hoping that they would push up. Seeker. Seeker. Last minute. Seeker!
Let's go. Seeker. <laughs> My favorite weapon of all time is not the 52, it's the Seeker. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm having brain rot right now. Oh, Mass Modes update. You had a 30 loose streak. Oof. Sorry to hear that. All right. Tell us the news, Callie and Murray. What we got? Walleye, one of the other OG5. And oh, everybody's favorite map. Hooray, towers. <laughs> uh. All right. This is going to be interesting. Let me go accept a friend request. <laughs> Ah, oh, lovely. We love... We love Moray. That's a Moray. Alright. When the sniper hits your face... Like a... What well, rhymes with face? Anyway, <laughs> I don't know what runs with face, so face. Oh, there we go. When a sniper hits your face like a giant mace, that's a more. <laughs> when you're out of space and you don't know wh what to do in this place, that's a more. <laughs> All right, Wale, one of the OG five. It's great to see that we're getting some of the original five maps we're playing in. Which, by the way, if you did not know, the original five, I think I said it earlier, but for peeps who didn't hear it earlier, the original five maps of Splatoon 1 are Black Belly, Urchin, Salt Spray, Walleye, and Arowana. Why is my game freezing? Why did my game just freeze? Uh, Splatoon? Wii U? I can't even press the home button. I think we had a crash. <laughs> well. We got hacked. <laughs> All my fellas. Either. Okay, wait. Spike wasn't even in the game. They crashed. So that must have been a Wii U thing. Everyone with a Wii U just got smacked across the face. All right. Well. The entirety of Splatoon 1 just crashed at 2.06 p.m. Eastern for some reason. So we just witnessed a whole event there. Every, every streamer in existence just crashed. Everyone on Splatoon 1 just crashed. Or the majority of people. That was so many people just crashed there. Evie's game is fine, okay. Well, a lot of people just got hit, <laughs> apparently. I'm part of the unlucky f few.
Uh oh, Spikey's. Try cl uh, cleaning the disc and putting it back in. Well, that was weird. We just heard a buzz and then we're dead. Let's try this again. <laughs> Uh-oh. Saying searching for a battle to join. It's taking a while. Game man, I'm dead. Dude, I'm logging into a public lobby. What? What do you mean you couldn't connect to your partner's device? I'm logging into a public lobby. There you go. Jeez. That was a bit rough, wasn't it? <laughs> Welcome to Splatoon 1's death, everybody. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be sad when this game's over, though. For real. For real, for real, this game's gonna make me... This game's dying is gonna make me cry. So thank you for whoever just subbed. Glad you enjoyed the content. Yippee! Yeah, normally I'm an Octoling. I ain't an Inkling normally, but Octolings, playable Octolings did not, you know, exist. Unless you hack, of course. A lot of fellas were the hacked rival Octoling that you could play as. There's a lot of stuff, which I wish I knew how to hack back then, or else I'd probably do the same. Because I like writing lore. Right. I know it's a little cringy, but I like writing lore for our characters. And it's just a lot more enjoyable, me personally, writing lore for Octolinks. It's a very, like, militaristic society and things. Uh oh. Try Do you have, like, a disc cleaner or any. Look up a tutorial on how to clean a Wii U disc. And try that. Try to clean the disc, like, effective, but like, with like different techniques and things. Maybe that'll work. Alright, it's gonna drop a seeker down there. Seeker. I have a feeling someone's just perched up there. Okay, they're not. It's over! I have the high ground! Why are you running? Ah, well, they had a skill issue. I think they fell off. Uh, we're actually the ones having a skill issue. We're getting locked out. Oh, that's that's worrisome. Yeah, I don't know. Did you try just completely turning off your Wii U and stuff? Sort of Accident. I might have that audio still. Hold on. I'll, I'll look for it then. Dang it. Uh, and we'll come back. Why? Yeah, that is worrying some spiky. I, I don't know. And we're going to do Jack there. Oh, you did fall off the map. I thought you did. It looked like you did, Maki. <laughs> Looked like you just jumped and fell, but you must have caught, like, land on the thing.
Okay. D1, let me explain something to you. I have motion sickness, okay? I've been playing Splatoon 1 since the first ever global test fire. And I'd like to say I'm a pretty decent person. A pretty decent player. If you are somebody here in this stream, hates on people who use stick controls, get out. We, number one, is just a control scheme. It doesn't matter. Number two... There are people like me who can't do it because then we get migraines. So if you're one of the people who make fun of people or like, oh, why stick controls? You're not welcome here. I'm sorry. I'm not. We're peace, love, and good vibes community. Anyone can play the video game however they please. It doesn't matter what control scheme they use, what weapon they use. If you're going to be judgmental, no. We don't, have, we don't do it. We don't do judgmental st stuff like that. That's not what my community is about. I am literally, I cannot count the number of times people are like, make fun of me or make fun of others for using stick controls and they don't deserve it. We're just playing the video game and having fun. If you're gonna be a jerk about it, then yeah, no. So I'm just giving you a verbal warning. You're welcome to stay if you change that attitude. But if you don't change that attitude, then I will block you from the channel. Just saying. Yeah, I can't handle the gyro controls, Tom. I have to... I have to use the um, stick controls or else I will literally get migraine. It is, like, really bad migraines, too. I thank you, Greg, for being a member. Appreciate that. Gerg. Got you there, Tom. Drop that there. Can't say at work, but I'll see you at 8.30. Heck yeah, Greg. I'm going to do a regular stream, by the way, at like from 8 to like 10 tonight. Or 8 to 11. That's going to be like a normal stream, not a short stream. Where it'll be a mix of turf and PB. Depending on what the maps are. So we're going to do private battles tonight with potentially some guests. Well, like guests like Greg and Fellas going to be there. Some of my Splatooper friendos, which some people may or may not know. <laughs> yeah, what Y said. We're not judgmental here. We're very, we're supposed to be very chill, peace, love, and good vibes. <laughs> Silly moray moment, I think we, yep. Ooh, man, nine and one. I kind of popped off that game. Well, sorry, the way you said it, D1, you were like, why stick controls dot dot dot, which is usually a very negative connotation and judgmental. So I kind of went off on you a bit. Be mindful that the way you type things can have attitude, believe it or not. And if you're like dot, 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 it is like a very... Putting dot, dot, dot at the end of this sentence is very different. 
than just asking a question, you know? Like, if you're like, oh, why do you use stick controls? I'm, I'm more happy to answer that way than versus why stick controls dot 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 makes me feel like, oh, I'm bad because I'm using sticks. Not necessarily. <laughs> Hello, uh, Angel um, Musto. I'm all right. I had a little, went off on a little rant about stick controls, but other than that, I'm good. I don't know. That's just one thing about the Splatoon community that where like no one cared back in Splatoon One. No one cared if you used sticks or motion. Literally nobody. Um, and then it's, the community got more um, competitive, and it was Splat Two. A couple people became sort of judgmental of people who use sticks because, oh, it's technically slower reaction time, yada yada. And it's like, well, some of us can't use motion controls, so I'm one of those people because I don't want to have a headache when I play Splatoon. All right, Spike, you fixed it. Let's go. Are you playing Splatoon 1? Yes, I am. Splatoon 1 for the Wii U. Seeker. Uh oh. Backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. Oh, they're behind. All right, I'm gonna go here. Let's go. I saw ink being painted in that area. I was hoping I would get somebody. Wasn't sure if I would for sure. They jumped out. That's a little overkill. Sorry about that, Tom. Wasn't trying to be overkill about it. Ah, dang it. No, I ain't hacking. Oh, you're talking to Spiky. That Splatoon 1 will be gone but now, but Splatoon will always be in our hearts. True. Sure, pre ten pre tendo does exist. I don't think I've won a match since joining you. Sorry about that, Tom. We could still use pre tendo. It ain't gonna be the same, but that is gonna be something I might turn to if I'm really feeling nostalgic and want to play Splat One even after the servers are done. I'm gonna miss this game. So we're playing it officially as long as we can. I'm down for that, nobody. I want to do pretend to splat one collab. Would be fun. I doubt they'll sadly make a remake, Angel, just because. I predict Splatoon 3 is going to get one uh, another year of, of uh, updates. Not map updates, but... I feel like weapon updates still do for another year. Yeah, it wouldn't really make sense to remake Splatoon 1 when Splat 3 is still active. 
So instead, I think they're just going to continue update Splat 3. Maybe, maybe if we get a new console, they might... I have a, a one theory. I don't think it's going to come true. Instead of just a normal Splatoon 4, they could make like a ultimate Splatoon or something. You know, like all the maps return sort of thing. But the, here's the thing, too. Keep in mind, fellas. Nintendo ha usually does anniversary things. Like, you know, there's a 30th anniversary Zelda, 35th anniversary Mario. Nintendo sometimes does anniversary stuff. And next year. May 28th of next year. Splatoon 1 will reach its 10-year anniversary 10 years they might do something i don't know if they would but i think it'd be really cool if they did something for a 10-year anniversary of splatoon 1 if they're gonna do splatoon 4 it's gonna be on the next console will that be a switch 2 or not we already got two splatoon games on one console i think the next time we get a splatoon game it's gonna be on a new console um and I think they're going to make a new Animal Crossing first. Keep in mind, Nintendo divides their games up into different divisions. And Splatoon and Animal Crossing share a division. So because they'll probably finish up content with Splatoon four, uh, 3, they'll probably move to a new Animal Crossing game. And then they'll do a Splatoon 4. So that's probably going to happen in the next couple of years. Is like new console. Then a Splatoon like uh, 4 after... A new Animal Crossing. I mean, my community is already a Splatoon club. The majority of the people in my community are Splatoon based. And I have a Discord server too, which is sort of like a club, I guess, in ways. Oh, somebody fell off. I think they still won that. We're trying to push into their base, but they're in ours too. Yeah, GG's. I really okay. If you look at the artist Splatoon books, I think you should really look at the artist Splatoon books. Because there's a lot of cool things in them. There's different hairstyle, there's different weapon concepts. It's all concepts and things on the cutting room floor that didn't get into Splatoon. But it just shows, like, how much more they could also do. Even, like, yeah, especially the artist Splatoon 2 had a lot. Also, Hydra! What's up, man? Nice to see you, bro. Um, I think different places have them. I'm not sure... I'm sure there's online stores that sell them. You can probably find them on eBay. I had the Artist Platoon 1. Yeah, Hydra! Woo! Welcome in, fella. Alright, let's do this. Paint the floor. Oh. Let's go. I got Hydro the Seeker. My beloved Seeker. Seeker is my beloved. Alright, let me drop that there. Dang it. Wait, what happened there? Did I kill you with the secret I threw and it was delayed, Tom, or what happened there? I just saw you around the corner. I threw a seeker, hoping it would get somebody or hoping it would get you. That was a weird encounter. Mm. 
No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Nope, nope. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you can also super jump back to base. That's something you can do too. And also, it still counts as an assist for them in modern Splatoon. If you jump off to the base, um, and someone did damage to you, it counts as an assist for them still. Doo -doo. Seeker. 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 Nope. Yeah, why? Well, um, if you do that, supposed to enter it still counts as the assist for your um for the person who last hit you. What if you wanted to invade my base, but God said seeker? Oh man, I could not aim apparently. Okay, that should have been a kill. My shots were just going around them. I mean, CG Toad, it has been like 12 years of Wii U servers. The Wii U was released in 2012, so that's like 12 years, which is pretty long. Um, You can still try to join. I think there's some randoms in here. You can try to join us. I mean, I'm backing out anyway to change my weapon. Um, I still want to play with Seeker, but I want a different what a different special. What things also have Seeker? I could do Aerospray. Yeah, that's true. Splatoon One Lava Base only have. Two waiting slots. I forgot about that. All right, air spray time. All right, let's do this. I'm going to miss this. Arrow spray. I play the wall. Oh, Robo Robin's a great map. Hey, sorry, Tom Sonic. I want to rotate the lobby for any new fellows who might be trying to join who didn't get in. Oh, ow. All right. Hello, uh, my Wii. Is that how I pronounce it? Hopefully you're doing well, Mai. Pop. Air spray, yippee. Go. 
I'm being silly. Ah, uh, okay. There was somebody lagging in the other game, so I DC. The sergeant didn't even play twice. Oh yeah, that can happen if there's a lot of lag. What do you I don't know what they're doing. Unless they just like hang out in the middle of Moray. Oh, there's somebody else here. Ah, Octa brushed. What's up, big shot? Yeah, you're gonna you missed out sadly, because this game is silly. Spot one is a very silly experience. I'm gonna miss it. I'll stream in the final hour when I'm back from my math class. Now's your chance to be a big shot. That's me, a Spavton. G Spavton. Kromer. <laughs> I've won a rated salesman, 1995. Um, no, my eyes don't burn. I'm so used to playing video games at this point. Like, my eyes are uh, well adjusted looking at screens for long periods of time, considering I'm a game dev major. And I've had streams where I've streamed for like 12 hours straight. So. Oh, couldn't run from that. Might record the final hour and just post the hour long recording based. I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably actually cry on stream, I'm not gonna lie, um, tomorrow, with the server shutting down. I'm gonna do a regular stream. Regular stream, the final hour. And I'm gonna do something special for after the server shut down. Zuka silly. Oh. Why didn't you choose this so hard? Well, exit with simple solution, Hydra. Exit mine and watch whoever you want to watch. <laughs> Alright, later me. Yeah, you're right. Watch couches. Couches is better. It's a regular stream, not a short stream. I just did the short sh I like short streaming simply every now and then. Just to, it, I feel like it's easier to meet new people. 
like the uh, the tar like the um the range of meeting new people on short streams is exponentially bigger than a regular stream. Uh, you're doing your uh, multi you're working on your multitasking. Okay. I get you. I don't think you're like. I hope that's a slash J slash S. I I'm don't. I can't pick up on tone sometimes. Couch. I hope you don't mean like you're genuinely better than I am because that's kind of mean, man. Zero point one percent moment. That means it was a draw. Yeah, it does. Or the paint points were only off by like five paint points. I thought Slash S was serious. Uh, no, that's not true. I thought Slash S meant serious. <laughs> I was so confused. Uh, is it just Slash SRS is serious? Okay. Don't mind me, I'm stupid. <laughs> I am incredibly stupid, don't mind me. Give me no mind. I am almost dead. See, I got confizzled. Yeah, what's up, Spooks? Nice to see you. Any trippy chips I love, so. This song's good. <laughs> Harmony, my beloved. Just kidding. Unless. <laughs> nah, I don't. I'm not cringe. Well, I am, but. <laughs> I ain't that kind of cringe. <laughs> I ain't gonna sip. For, I'm not simping for a uh, fictional character. The back and forth between what you're saying. It's fine. I talk to myself. I'm lonely. <laughs> Don't mind me. Hey, Stardud. Hopefully you're doing well. I mean, I'm glad you think so. I I try to provide some mostly chill, semi semi chaotic vibes. Sometimes it's chaos, sometimes it's chill. It depends. It's a mix, and if it's chaotic, it's a good chaotic. Also, the spook thanks for being my like all time number one member. I don't deserve that, but thank you for being a member for 27 months is insane. It's hard to imagine that like you were like one of my first members period and like you still decide to maintain membership so thank you for that because like i hit um monetization in like october of 2021 which is like my first year streaming splatoon uh, as a like content which is crazy insane to think about i've been doing i've been a splatooner since january 24th 2021 that is Quite a long time. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Tom. <laughs> Tom was just like, yeah, you know what? Now nah, you win. <laughs> just seeker. Seeker. No, don't do that, Tom. Oh, we don't do that here. We don't do that here. Don't throw the match. We're playing legit games. If you throw the match that is not bad for your team, we do not like throwing. Um, 
And I will remove you from friends list and hide you from the channel if you throw con again. Don't do that. Don't throw. Even if we're fighting, I want everyone to give it their all. That's that's not. You know what throwing does? It's not only negatively impacting, like yourself. It's negatively pack impacting your three teammates and also the other team, because then it's not a fair fight. So do not throw, fellas. We do not do that here. No throwing. Just hang out, play the video game legitimately, and have fun. We already have Mahi Mahi, but they just ruined it. <laughs> oh, you meant Moray. Moray, I think it would be interesting to see in Splat 3, but I don't think we're getting it. I think the final map's gonna be a new map. Based off, like, what's the pattern spin. Ah, dang it. Antro V is not bad. I actually prefer the older Antro V, believe it or not, like the Spot 1 version. That's just me. I think the flanks were silly. Yeah, Spot 1 Antro V is the silly, and I love it. A lot. Of, it's very rare that like a Splat one version was better uh, when I, comparing it to Splatoon two. Splatoon three, on the other hand, they ruined Mahi 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 was better here. Um, they ruined. Uh, I don't. They sort of ruined Flounder. Flounder is kind of mid now, and it used to be peak. They took peak and turned it to mid, in my opinion. Like Flounder Splat three is just not, not her. The Reef was a solid map, and same with Canal. Although Canal... Bluefin more like Buttfin. <laughs> I do like what they did to Zones, so... The Zones, I love that gimmick. The Zone moving back and forth, that is nice. That is the only like major improvement, I think. Other than that, it's just kind of eh. But Zones is fantastic now. Like, it's so silly. Flounder lost a lot of its original charm, yeah. It's a, it's a Toy Story meme. I don't want to play with you anymore. That's how I feel about Flounder. Flounder is my... Splatoon 1 Flounder Heights is my favorite map in the entire franchise. I know I'm a big Black Belly enthusiast, but Fl OG Flounder, it just hits different. Uh, I was trying to do a seeker. Oh, Angel, you should prop get some proper rest. Please get some rest. Take care of yourself. Peace, love, and good vibes. Ba -ba -da -ba. Dun, dun. La, da, 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 da. I wonder if I can hit level 44. I'm probably going to be able to hit level 44. Especially with playing turf tonight. I am, am ending stream in about like 15 Tw ah, 15 plus 20, like 30 minutes. I'll probably end stream. And if um, couch is still going on, we're just going to raid couch. Um, no, I'm not. Stop. We're not doing that bit again, okay? Mm, we're not. Nope. Uh, proceeding. Yippee.
I'm not gonna, we're not, no. You know exactly what I'm talking about, Big Shot. Of course, Angel, I care about all the fellas. All my fellas. Yippee. Uh, I'm gonna die, this disruptor. Or not, okay. Alright, that worked. Hello, policy. Why you calling me a noob? I didn't do jack. If you give me some concrete proof on why I'm a noob or why you think I am, then sure, I'll take the criticism. But other than that, I hope you're having a good day. Hello, well, Santo. Hopefully you're doing well. Hey, there we go. That's two. Oh, that's a bubbler. I don't... Nope. Gotta put that there. Oop. Ah! There we go. <laughs> Got it. Oh, I thought I had enough ink, uh, ink for another Seeker. I tried to do Point Blank Seeker, would have been funny. Oh, well. to uh sleuth um i have motion sickness so i've been playing splatoon since 2015 and i just use sticks because of the migraines i get i get i get bad migraines with gyro controls if i play them for too long so that's why i'm stick user i understand oh faster reaction time yada yada but I, i'm i'm playing this game for fun anyway like I play Splatoon for the social aspect. I like hanging out with people. I like meeting new people. I'm here to vibe. I'm here to hang out. I'm, I try to have a great time. So I don't stress about being the best. If anything, I just like to be well-rounded. I like to be a jack of all trades. That's why I'm trying to three-star every weapon in Splatoon 3. But yeah. This is the hardest boss that you fought in a Splatoon game. Probably Inner Agent 3. Inner Agent 3 was difficult for me because I'm not great at memorization and you have to really memorize uh, their attack pattern um, that as well as the fact that uh, at the time I wanted to challenge myself and do it with a USB GameCube controller um, so yeah instead of just doing like a normal pro controller, I was using a USB GameCube controller um, but I did beat it after like three and a half hours. I still have the VOD of that actually. Uh, Disruptor. Yeah, I'm dead. Clearly should have just let us use keyboard and mouse. I don't, I would not play Splatoon with keyboard and mouse. I'll be real. Yeah, you have to like be pretty used to stick controls. 
Okay, I... Whoa, I was not aiming my gun down. Oh, here's something exciting, fellas. Here's something that's also proof of me being proficient. Um, last season, I played like X-Rank for like the first time ever, right? I got top 5,000. I ranked like 3,900. Um, and yeah, I'm a stick player. So stick players can make it into the top 5,000. I'm living proof of that. I'm working my way. I'd eventually want to get top 500 one day. Um, I'm slowly trying to play X rank more just for to get better. And welcome back, Cannoli. You're coming in right near the end of stream here. We have about 20 ish minutes left. I'm gonna do. And then we're gonna wrap it up. I'll be live again tonight though with some more turf and PBs and potentially some guests. So we'll see. I know Greg is definitely wanting to join at around like 8.30. We're starting at eight Eastern. So yeah, that'll be a regular stream I'll schedule then. Um, but I do want to take a break and work on a few things. Yeah, we lost that one. Oop. Ah, GG's. I actually am tempted to back out and change my weapon to something with Echo Locator. So I might do that and see if there's any outstanding friend requests here. Yeah, that way I don't have to like back out again. So we'll do that now. Back out, accept friend requests, and change my weapon. Yep, we got two friend requests. Good thing I did back out. Accept. And accept. I'm getting pretty good, Santo. Hopefully you are as well. Gonna swap to something. I want something with Echo Locator. Not feeling like playing uh, E-Leader though. Or Bubbler. I could play something with Bubbler too. I just want to mix it up. Not feeling a 96. Uh, hmm. That could be silly. I'm not feeling it. Uh, ba -ba, ba -ba. You want? Know why not? We'll do Dynamo. Dropping into a new turf, and I'll play for another five twenty-ish minutes here. So that's probably three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. About five, six, six games. We'll do roughly six more games here. And then I'll be live again tonight with potentially friendos. Well, with some friendos. All right, let's have some fun. Uh, normal Nintendo Wii be down with the Wii U tomorrow? Oh, Nintendo Wii's been down. Nintendo Wii's servers have been gone. Yeah, Nintendo's, like, the Wii Shop channel, like, shut down on 2019. And the server shut down earlier than that. Yeah, the server shut down in 2014, but the and the e, and the Wii Shop channel shut down in 2019. Yeah, they've been shut down for ages. Hmm. 
They made you crash your console. What? What did it, what did he do? Epi, I swear to God. Your Wii U overheated itself. Oh no. Oh, Epi. Well, go figure. That's on him. That's what I refer to as a skill issue. I'm tempted to DM him just say skill issue. If he can DM me while I'm streaming, I can DM him. I'll do that in a second. Just you wait. Okay, Dynamo with that is actually really fun. What? I don't know who thought of putting uh, Echo Locator on Dynamo, but that's actually fun. Oh, they're behind us. That's not good. Did they get there? Must go now for my own. All right, later, nobody. And no need to apologize, Angels. Catch on the flip. All right, let me. Where is the thing? And there we go. I just DM'd Epi. Just out of the blue skill issue. <laughs> I'll see if he responds. I'll let you know. I'll leave his DM open over there and see if he responds. Yeah, no problem. No stress about it. You good. Everything is good. Alright. So far, nothing. <laughs> do -do, do -do. All right, let me eat. Yeah, I love to hear like everyone stream Splatoon 1. It's great. And welcome back, Big Shot. Ah, uh, should have figured you'd jump down there. Just gonna place that down for a little extra points, hopefully. Okay, they're not on the wall, okay. Thought they would be. Dynamo! Oh, they're up there. Yeah. Hit the wall. There you go. Oh, what?
do, 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 do. What's my sub again? Oh, Smirkler. Okay, I forgot. I have me Smirkler. And there's two fellas over there. Yeah, I think they're going though. Oh wait, what? How did you? Where did you? Okay. I last saw them down there. I was like, how did they get up there? Keep dying, oh no. Ah, GG's. We sadly got toasted that one. Hello, haha. Hopefully you're doing well. Again, if you would give me proof on why you're calling me a noob, if you're basing that off one game, that's a little confusing, but hopefully you have a good rest of your day. You know, everyone has their off days. Everyone has their ups and downs and wins and losses. Every game's got to have a win or and a loser. Oh, Dynamo's used to fling ink deck far, Tom. Yeah, it used to be much more uh, range to it. They kind of turned it down a bit in Splatoon 2. Dynamo's used to be pretty long. Like a big AoE, big area of effect. See, look how far that goes. Just it paints a lot. It goes real far. There you go, now you can see where the enemy is. Ooh, okay, that's cool. I got a nice double there. Nice dynamo double. Ah, dang it. Yo, Sadakai! Nice to see ya. Hopefully you're doing well. Thanks for choosing me as a raid target. Hopefully your day's going well. Where were you up to? Were you also, are you also Splat 1? Or you in other Splats? Or what other games? Other things? What were you up to? Hello, Luna. Hello, Saw. Hello, Nova Josh. Alright. Oop. Man, Classic Dynamo did so much. Look at that. Hi, Owen. <laughs> Hello, Vana. Hopefully you're doing swell as well. We got Splat 1, unfortunately, was playing some Splat 3 with the Luna. Ooh, Luna, I've been actually popping. Oh, you're, oh, with the, you meant the Luna in the stream. <laughs> Sorry, I was confused. I thought you meant Luna Blaster. I was like, oh yeah, I've been popping off of Luna Blaster too. It was like, no, you met a person named Luna. Well, nice to meet your acquaintance, Luna. <laughs> My bad, I thought you met the blaster, kind of. I was like, yeah, I've been using Luna Neo and Rainmaker. <laughs> you met Luna Key. 
<laughs> well, nice to meet you, Luna Key. Hopefully you're having a good... What is it, Sunday? Yeah, Sunday. Hopefully Sunday is going well. Thank you for choosing me as silly raid target. And hopefully the clock went well. There we go. Staying alive. Uh, 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 uh. Staying alive. Staying alive. All right. Let's kill them all. Oop. Nice trade. Ah, they're behind me. That's until I at least I have school tomorrow. Ooh, yeah, school rough. I have I have college classes from noon to seven, so I can only get back to my dorm probably right around seven, and then hopefully stream the final hour of Splatoon one. I, yeah. I was saying everyone had to pitch in because it's possible you wouldn't see. Then I remember you read almost every message. Yeah, I try to. <laughs> Moray Towers, my beloved. <laughs> Moray is pretty pretty fun. I know a lot of people. It's it's hot take to like it, but I it has some uniqueness to it. I like it. Thank you, T Bunny. Same here. Gotta take a break. All right, Tom. Maybe I'll see you tonight. I'm also planning on streaming tonight from 8 to 11 and include some guests like Hoenn maybe if he's free or uh, I know Greg56 for sure I'm gonna miss Splatoon 1 a lot as well and hello Octo King, hello Rain alright let's do it well yeah sorry Tom yeah time zone moment I ate food now, but it was nice seeing you. Nice seeing you as well, Lunaki. Peace, love, and good vibes. Enjoy your food. That's something I gotta do then, too, is eat myself some dinner in between streams. Ah, dang it. They had the, they had the range on that one. Dude, you got the Bronze Anarchy Series Bash. Nice. Yeah, I know. Just, like, one more, one more year, and then, like... A year and like essentially two months it would have been roughly around then and it would have made it 10 year Annie I would have loved to do 10 year anniversary streams for Splatoon 1 but uh, at least we're getting to play it now and a lot of people are playing it now because they're realizing oh crud this game's gonna go kablooey um better play it so in a weird way I am it's nice to see like how many people are like playing now because they know that the servers are dying. So it's interesting to see that. Like the rise in people playing Splatoon 1 right before the end. This is the game that started me to play Splatoon in close to my birthday. Oh, then that's got to be a sucker punch that like, oh, Splatoon 1 is dying. Yeah. Oh yeah, Pretendo exists, but I'm been officially playing it. I'm probably gonna. Cr I'm not gonna uh, lie. I'm probably gonna get emotional on tomorrow's stream. The like final hour of Splatoon one stream. I'm gonna get emotional. I'm. I'm telling you now. I. I will, because this game means a lot, and even. I mean, Splatoon two also means a crap ton to me because like Splatoon two is what got me into being a creator, but like. I've been around the Splatoon. I've been playing Splatoon. I wasn't always Jukojin, but I've been playing Splatoon since like the first ever Global Test Fire. I participated in Cats vs. Dogs and Callie vs. Marie. So I've been here since the beginning. So yeah, it's, it's gonna hit. It's gonna hit hard. It's gonna. It's gonna be sad. Oh, they're cracking just right now. At, like the perfect time for me to kill him. Hi, Owen.
Yeah, eventually Splatoon 2 and Splatoon 3 will die, so let's enjoy the games while we can. A long time ago, I wish I still had my Wii U so I can enjoy the final moments of this game. Yeah, I, yeah, Hash Brown, this game means a lot to a lot of fellas. It's nice, it's very heartwarming to hear what this game means to you all, though. Splatoon ever since my brother asked to get it for Christmas in 2015. Yeah, Splatoon... Okay, I'll tell my story briefly. I was always a Nintendo nerd. Still am, obviously. Um, and so I used to react to directs and E3s and things together with my very close buddy of mine named Colonel. Um, and we reacted to E3 2014 together. And we saw Splatoon being revealed. And we were like, this game looks so weird, but so fun. So we both, you know, had a Wii U. We both participated in the global test fire. And we fell in love with it. We both got it. We both played Private Battle so much. Hopped in Turf War together. It was kind of a magical time. And if I could, I would go back in time and experience it again. Because it was really something. We even joke about it today still because... He didn't realize that, uh, you know, when you put your crosshairs on somebody with the, um, with a charger, it will tell you where someone is, even if they're in their ink. He didn't know that, and he was so confused why I kept being able to kill him on tower. <laughs> when we play, like, tower control together, or against each other in private battles. Uh, that was so fun. I was just better back then outside of Splatoon look true. I don't want to get all like Debbie Downer, but um, yeah, life's changes. Life's pretty complicated nowadays with a lot of different things. So I'll tell you what, what I do here on my channel and as a whole in my life, my life motto, peace, love and good vibes. I'm just going to I'm gonna try to keep focusing on the positivities of life. Just being able to have this outlet, this source of escapism for people, where you could temporarily forget about the bad vibes for a while, temporarily, you know, set down the anxieties and the stresses of life and just hang out, play silly video games or laugh at my stupidity as I epically fail or, you know, that's, that's the whole purpose of my channel. That's the whole purpose of my content It's just help with that. So, you know. That's why I have my silly little motto, peace, love, and good vibes. There's a multi there's a multiverse of possibilities out there. There's so much out there. There's so much. And let me tell you, I'm not gonna give up on the bad vibe. I'm not I'm not gonna give up on ever spreading the good vibes. I'm not gonna give up on my fight against the bad vibes. So Yeah. That's my whole, that's my whole life goal, my life purpose thingy. I know it's silly, but that's what I do. That's what I keep on doing. I just want to play silly video games with y'all. Oh. All right, going this way. How did that not kill? Okay. I figured someone was in the corner there. I'll trade with Owen. I try, Ad and I. I mean, sometimes there's some sus vibe. Oh, there's like some sus humor or like the AOs, but you know, we're just all about just hanging out and being silly, having fun. They would port Splatoon 1 to Switch and maybe add a gamepad support. I don't think they would do that as much as I would love to. You know? Oh yeah, wait, I was trying to do this earlier on stream. Um, I forgot about it. Let me see if I have it. Um, hold on. This one? 
No, that's not it. One of these media. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, execute. <laughs> what are you drinking? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to get accident. <laughs> the port thing makes no sense if we already have Splatoon. Um, yeah, that's what I think, Agent Maki, because, like, I think they're just going to continue working on Splatoon 3 for a while. And so I don't think it would actually hurt um, Splatoon 1. No, it would hurt Splatoon 3 to just port Splatoon 1. So from a business perspective, it doesn't make sense. All right, let's do this. Oh, no, I changed the th Twitter PFP. It's no longer the Jack Yacht. Um, but the Gartic phone, uh, a couple people in my server were playing the uh, Gartic phone. And so there is art of um, my Octoling <laughs> with his, <laughs> with a Giat, but I can find the image again and just share it. If you want to end, we're ending stream here after this match, but um, I can try to find the Jack Giat before we um, raid. If we really w if you all want to see that art, I have it somewhere. Worst case scenario, I can just pull it from Cuddles DM, I think. Yeah, you were one of the Gartic phone people. <laughs> We've got to see it. Oh no. <laughs> Are you sure? Oh, buddy. Oh, okay. I won't show if you don't want me to. Hey, yo, wait a minute. We're not talking about that. That's sus. Uh -uh. Oh, wow. I'm surprised, I'm surprised I got that kill. Oh, hey, okay. Two killer whales. I escaped the one, but I could escape the other. No, the meat. When they say the meat pole, they're referring to the pole on Mint's Meat Metalworks. They're just abbreviating it. There's a pole on the map, Mint's Meat Metalwork. FBI opened up. Nah. Yeah, that's what the, well, that's what they're referring to. They're being silly. Oh, that's two. I'm just gonna go over here. Back up in case they paint this way. Oh, I thought I could get that kill. Oh no. No, we're gonna lose our last game. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah. Man, I'm dead. That's my finger slipping. I see you got a no. Oh, Sadakai, chill. Oh my gosh. Thank you for that. But oh yeah, okay. You guys want to see a Giat? You're gonna see a Wario Giat. That's the got Giat you're about to see. <laughs> All right. All right. There it is. <laughs> All right. We're going to do a jack raid. And.
And let me see if our new friendo is still live. Our, uh, hold on, let me find it. Uh, one second. Let's see. Oh, they're still live. Okay. Well, since they're so, still live, we're going to go over there. Here is the link. Just say hashtag Jack Raid. And yeah, he's loving good vibes. I'll see y'all there. Bye, fellas. See ya. I'm going to be live again later tonight from Splat 1. But that's not going to be until like 8 o'clock. So, yep. Later. See you in the raid. Bye-bye.